Superintendent Cody Fisher says the Glens Ferry School District has followed COVID-19 precautions, especially as cases in Glens Ferry rise. So as far as students go right now, we have 11 current positive COVID cases uh, in our district. We have five likely positive. We have 94 kids that need to be quarantined uh, due to be considered a firsthand exposure uh, to a positive COVID case, and we have six students that are considered recovered. The district says there are 400 students in the Glens Ferry District. Fisher was unable to meet with me yesterday due to meetings surrounding staff and student concerns. Unfortunately, having to, to miss our, our scheduled interview yesterday, uh, staff and students sometimes have to come first, um, and in here, the, that case was needed. At the special school board meeting last night, the board voted to require masks for both students and staff. Idaho News 6 originally reported the reopening plan had changed twice. Fisher clarified the plan had not been amended before last night. The reopen plan for Glens Ferry School District was amended for the first time uh, since its adoption by the school board last night. And with that first amendment uh, of our reopening plan, the board approved to adopt a, adopt a mask mandate uh, for all students and staff across the district. There is a medical exemption for the mask mandate. As I reported last night, students and teachers we spoke with were afraid to go on camera for fear of retaliation. Fisher says he has an open door policy and hopes those people now feel comfortable coming forward. If my staff needs to come in and, and close the door and they need to have emotional conversations and they need to tell me uh, how they're feeling because they are scared, they are nervous, they are anxious, uh, that they absolutely can do that. Fisher says some of those anonymous statements from students and staff said the school board contemplated a don't ask, don't tell policy, something Fisher says is completely false. Did that statement, uh, did those words come out of a board member's mouth? Yes, they did in a question to a parent asking, is that what you are saying you want in our district? Uh, did the board discuss having us adopt that as a district? Absolutely not. Fisher also said the district followed central district health guidelines when it came to allowing the homecoming football game. Firsthand exposures that we had knowledge of were quarantined. Um, anyone else that would be considered secondhand exposure, we followed central district health guidelines and guidance on those people. There was also some discussion at the meeting last night about changing quarantine protocols for those firsthand exposures of COVID-19, but an official decision hasn't yet been made. Natasha Williams, Fox 9 Now.